five minutes that it takes you to watch this video, over 20,000 pieces of plastic trash will enter the ocean. Now some of that might be a candy wrapper or water bottle directly discarded into the sea by a careless beachgoer, but about 30% of worldwide plastic pollution in the ocean comes from rivers. Now we all know that once plastic pollutants enter the ocean, they're an extreme hazard for marine life. Sea life like sea turtles will occasionally confuse plastic pollutants for food and ingest it, causing digestive issues. And if it's left in the ocean long enough, plastic degrades into microplastics. Now these are microscopic pieces of plastic that are almost impossible to clean up and very difficult to detect without the use of proper equipment. These are accidentally consumed by both marine organisms and humans that eat those marine organisms, and over time can build up to harmful levels in the bodies of organisms that ingest them. But what if I told you that plastic pollution can be just as harmful to freshwater ecosystems, such as rivers and streams, as it is to the ocean? Many species of birds, fishes, and reptiles will accidentally consume plastic pollution, especially if it's brightly colored or shiny. And once in the body, these pieces of plastic can block the digestive tracts of these animals and starve them to death over time. But there's also plenty of indirect negative impacts of plastic pollution on our native freshwater ecosystems. For instance, these pollutants can build up in shallow water areas and on stream banks. This actually modifies the physical habitat that's available to river organisms and limits the nesting options for reptiles, such as freshwater turtles or snakes, which need preserved riparian areas to successfully produce offspring. When plastic pollutants build up in these shallow water areas, they can block natural light penetration through the water column, which limits the growth of aquatic vegetation, and as we all know, that vegetation is what feeds the entire ecosystem. Additionally, Many types of plastic take thousands of years to break down naturally. And even when they do break down, they just become those microplastics that we've already discussed as being harmful for both wildlife and humans. Obviously, that's a lot of problems that can arise from plastic pollution in our freshwater and marine ecosystems. But thankfully, there's plenty of opportunities for people like you and I to take action and stop this crisis. So the best way to keep our fresh and saltwater ecosystems clean and healthy is by simply keeping the plastics out of them in the first place. And anyone can help out with this. All you have to do is pick up a single piece of trash. But even if you don't feel like picking up litter, there are other ways you can get involved. Today actually celebrates the launch of Team Seas, an ocean conservation initiative being spearheaded by content creators Mark Rober and Mr. Beast in collaboration with two mission-based nonprofit organizations. The goal of this global campaign is to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of trash from both our freshwater river ecosystems and our marine ecosystems. Every single dollar that Team Seas raises will go directly to two accredited nonprofits the Ocean Conservancy, and the Ocean Cleanup, and will equate to exactly one pound of trash being removed from an ocean or a river. There are many ways to get involved with this initiative. If you feel comfortable donating as little as a dollar, you can head over to teamseas.org and do that right now. Or, if you don't want to donate, that's totally fine. Simply use the hashtag TeamSeas in any social media post to help raise awareness for this campaign. Or, as I mentioned earlier, just go pick up a piece of litter. It's as easy as that. Together, we can make a difference for our freshwater and marine ecosystems. Go to TeamSeas.org right now or use hashtag TeamSeas to get started. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.